Hi guys, thanks for coming back to another video. Uh, God bless you all. Um, truth be known, I, I, I didn't think I was going to be making another video. Um, I, I thought the last ones that I had provided was going to be was going to be it. But last night at, uh, at 3.30 in the morning, um, I awoke and was given a statement um, that I've I understood once I started digging into it and whatnot I, that it was something that I needed to share. Um, in discussion with um, with a friend this morning, I I also understand that this is kind of confirming some bits and pieces that other messengers have been receiving, either through dreams or messages or words or um, or in their studies. And so I knew at that time that it was something that I needed to go ahead and put up. Um, and share so that we can um, so that we can confirm each other. Uh, let me go ahead and just share what the message was this morning. It was kind of short. It was kind of sweet. Um, and this is what it was: the wheel of time ends Monday. The wheel of time ends Monday. So now. Guys, when I received this uh, message this morning, um, I, I can I can understand um, what it seems to be saying, but at the same time, I needed to ask the Lord for detail. Uh, Lord, what is it that you are trying to say here? What is it exactly um, that you are trying to identify to us? Um, what which Monday? Um, you know, is it are we going back to the Monday Monday? Um, is it is it uh, the Monday coming up? Um, is it some is it Moon Day? Uh, which which Monday? Um, and in pressing him, I I really feel like he is pointing um, to next Monday, and I'm going to be showing you on a calendar um, which particular date that is. So. Around the 4th of July, uh, maybe a day before or what have you, I had a co-worker get a hold of me. Her name is Wendy, and she is one that I have uh, been uh, talking with the Lord about. And uh, for many, many years have been sharing different things, and she's been sharing with me. Well, she got a hold of me uh, just prior to um, a lot of my family coming in town and said that the Lord had pointed to her. Uh, to tell me that I needed to take a look at that old Enoch calendar that I had created for my studies. Now, she said there was something important in it um, that I needed to look at. Um, so with all of my family coming in in the last several weeks, I've had uh, grandchildren for a week, I've had other family from out of town for uh, quite some time at the house, I've just really not had time to dig into my studies until now. And, um, and so um, as I was asking the Lord the questions last night, he brought to mind this particular, um, this particular calendar. And so I knew he had already prompted me um, before once through. Uh, hold on just a moment. I'm sorry, I guess someone was trying to call my computer. I don't know who it is. Um, but anyway, so um, so he had been prompting me to go ahead and um, take a look at this, but I've not had the opportunity to do it until today. So I'm taking a look at it, and I am being reminded of the message that the Lord gave last year, that 8-1 is 7-1. Do you guys remember um, that important message that he gave last year, uh, this time last year? And, and, and truly, in all actuality, in the last several months, the Lord has been pointing me back to some of the messages that I had put out last year. Um, little bits and pieces um, that I even, even going back and listening to now, mean so much more than they did when I actually did the video. I mean, they, they, they were important when I did the video. I understood when I did the video. But as I'm going back now, a year later of more understanding and knowledge that has been given to me, I am going back and listening to these things and seeing that there is just so much more information in there. Things are making much more sense. 
um, things are now tying together and the Lord has been taking me back um, to allow me to catch certain nuggets that the Holy Spirit had me say at that time that means something to me in my studies or some type of form of encouragement at this time in my life so I don't know if the Lord has been doing that for you guys having you go back into your studies from last year or maybe dig into some of your older videos if you are a youtuber um, or anything like that but I know that the Lord has been doing that for me I've been delving into my old journals um, I've been going back into my old videos because there are things in there that the Lord is wanting me to remember um, so if you feel prompted to do that, please do not discount that. Um, that is something that he has won. There's something there um, that he is wanting to show you. Okay, so while I was looking at this particular video and recalling that the 8-1 is 7-1, then I understood and realized that the dates had to go back, right? that this date right here is actually for here and we discussed this in some of those videos last year and you guys can go back and take a look at them they're they're dealing with the Maseroth and they're dealing with um, Enoch's calendar um, and, and we delved into some of this uh, quite a bit but we talked about that in the 8-1 to 7-1 video um, and so that the dates were off for about a month and so if we're looking um, that at this date for 521 through 620 for this area we're really looking at these dates because this goes back right and so then we're looking at the date of um, 722 which is very very interesting okay so this ends really on 722 if we're taking what the Lord has told us that 81 is 71 So with that being said, I said, all right, I'm going to go in and just pull up. I'm just going to Google um, Wheel of Time. That's that's what I'm going to Google, Wheel of Time. So let me see if I can get out of here. I don't think I need this. And so what I did is I just Googled Wheel of Time Enoch Calendar, right? Because that's basically um, what he said in the message, right? And so what I did is I went through a couple of these, and there was some really important information um, that I kind of tripped across that I want to show you. So one, one thing that I um, tripped across was this. Um, it talks about God's calendars and it talks about keys to unlock a particular time frame um, and it goes in to what the Gregorian calendar is, what the Jewish calendar is, how that's equal to the Enoch or the Elijah calendar and then what Psalms or scriptures would tie into those dates. Now notice here that this is something that was done in 2015 but it's very very interesting to take a look at some of the significant dates that he was identifying um, even back in 2015. Um, he was identifying uh, the Tammuz, June the 23rd. But take a look down here. Look what dates he's identifying here. He's identifying 8-11, 8-12, 8-13, 8-14, 8-15, all the way through here. He's identifying this particular week right here. And then he's talking about off. He's talking about off. And so, um, so when I started seeing these dates right here, then all of a sudden my mind went back to, um, went back to that document. Um, do you guys remember the video that I did where I said, Lord, are you trying to tell us that the dead in Christ are about to rise? And I saw that document and the date that was on the document. Now, mind you guys, this is the only date that the Lord has ever given me. He has never given me any other specific date ever. Okay. Um, the only date that he ever gave me, the date that was on that document said 813. Okay. And you guys can go back and listen to that video if you want to. Um, I think that is the title of it, actually. Uh, Lord, are you trying to tell me the dead in Christ are about to rise? Um, 
he gave me that dream on 8-11. That's when he gave me that dream on 8-11. And the date on the document was 8-13. So there is something very still, very significant um, about these dates. Okay, uh, so I just want to put that out there as well. Um, what I found interesting here is, and, I, and, you, and I'll provide this link for you, or actually you can see it right here, this, this particular link. But down here um, it talks about the alphabet uh, system, you know, where they identify 26 letters in the alphabet and then they come back through and, and identify what else would constitute an A. Uh, etc. But um, I want to come down and show you what they said about the letter X. Now, um, in June area, the tail end of June, maybe July of last year, the Lord um, gave me the letter X. He, he gave it to me in a dream and I just had this huge letter X that just came right in front of me. Um, when we discussed it in a video last year, we talked about X crossing, uh, we talked about X transfer, you know, meaning transfer, we talked about railroad crossing, what the X might mean, we weren't, we weren't really sure. Um, and then just recently in, um, in, in a video that I shared um, and in the spirit experience there was a map that was there and there was an X right where I was um, some people are saying is that X marks the spot or um, truly what what was this X representing um, and so you know I, I really didn't know but I thought this was very very interesting what I tripped across here because I was putting feelers out to figure out what this X could possibly mean. Um, and this is interesting. It says the symbol X carries a whole bunch of meanings. Uh, it means union with the Holy Spirit. It means transformation, promoted to high places, crucifixion, death, and treasure for the bride of Christ. And at the same time, this symbol X is for, for the world is also death, the falling of high places. But it also means sexual immorality. And um, we know when films are rated X, we know that that means uh, certain things. X also means nothing, error, failure, bad, and negative things, meaning the wicked high places of America will fall greatly. Um, he says he's going into some other information where he's um, talking about something else that he spoke of prior to that. Um, and I thought that was really, really interesting. Um, it goes into to talk about what the Z um, may, um, excuse me, what, what the Z may um, identify. And uh, I thought this was interesting too. Um, because 69 and the crab and all of that has been um, has been brought to mind for many of us. Uh, so let's read this. So Z stands for Z, meaning rest for the bride. Um, and this can be seen as a Sunday as the day of rest or maybe the Sabbath. Um, it's set apart, holy, and blessed, resembling 77. Uh, the painless death of the bride means that she will be resting from her battles against her flesh, uh, which means to me transformation, and never needs to pick up a heavy, painful cross again. Uh, the number seven po points to six and nine o'clock directions. Um, many of us have been uh, getting dreams uh, in regards to the nine o'clock and the six o'clock. Um, so 69 is a symbol of the Cancer constellation, the Crab constellation. Um, the stars in the in the tail are identified as these two names, Tegman or Tegmine, which means hiding place, which uh, should uh, which should <laughs> which should perk your ears up a little bit. The bride will be hidden behind the veil, behind the scene, and see how the star system is behind the crab. Um, so you guys can go and, and take a look at this. Um, it means this particular word Tegman means it, it means covering. Um, a shelter, a protection, hiding place for the bride of Christ. And the claw means holding something with the hands. 
Um, so guys, I'm going to give you this particular link. Go back and take a look at it. You know, not everything that you read is, is, is for you at this time. So take what nugget is uh, speaking to your spirit and toss out the rest and, and continue to move forward. But um, this is just something that... Um, that I ran across. I thought it was very interesting. Please note that the dates all on this particular uh, blog or WordPress um, site are, are discussing for all, um, are discussing for um, 2015. Um, but I just wanted to bring that to you. Okay, so um, let's. The next thing that I pulled up was I wanted to pull up to see um, the Jewish calendar. I, I wanted to see where we are Gregorian wise. And, um, and where we are Jewish calendar wise, right? So this is one that I pulled up. Let me just pull up this one. This one seems to be a little bit better because it, it'll allow me to scroll into two months. Um, so, uh, so let's see. Today is Tuesday the 17th. Um, so Tuesday, July the 17th, Gregorian, right? Gregorian calendar. Um, it is on the Jewish calendar, the fifth day of off. And um, and what the Lord said in his message, um, what he said was, the wheel of time ends Monday. Now, I just received this at 3.30 in the morning, so I don't believe it's talking about um, yesterday. Um, he's, he's speaking of forward time, and so I... I'm thinking that it is here, the 23rd. But what is really, really interesting is um, in, Ju in the Jewish timing as to when their day actually starts, um, it starts at sunset the day prior, which, um, which I'm finding very, very interesting is the Tisha B'Av. Um, so just as a reminder for what that is, it's the ninth of off, it's the annual fast day, um, and it commemorates the destruction of both the first and second temple uh, in Jerusalem. So it's talking about the temples being destroyed, um, which occurred about 655 years apart, uh, but on the same calendar date. Now guys, I'm telling you, when the Lord says, um, things happen, you know, th there's nothing new under the sun. You know, it's what is interesting is, is we've been going back and we've been looking in our journals, and I keep saying year after year after year, the Lord is giving and expanding on messages around the same time of, of the month during the year. I mean, if he was talking about, let's just say, if he was talking about Tisha B'Av, um, you know, right now for us, then this time last year, he was talking about Tisha B'Av. And the year before that, at this time, he was talking about Tisha B'Av. I mean, he, he speaks on the same thing year after year after year. I mean, you can go through your journals and take a look at it. But isn't it interesting that some of this stuff, even on the calendars, is falling on the same time? So we can take what they're saying here and what they're showing in the calendar as something that's very significant, okay? It's not just, oh, hey, Tisha B'Av falls on that day. Mm -mm, no, we have to look at it because what's going on is, is he's showing us, okay, this is something significant. So if the wheel of time ends here and this is coming into it, right, then it's ending on Tisha B'Av. But what is really interesting is take a look at the end of the week. On the 15th of off is to be off. Now, this is the day. <laughs> this is the day that's similar to Valentine's Day, and it has always been said it's a great day for weddings. This is a day that many watchmen have had on their radars since the very, very beginning. Um, it's a holiday of love. Uh, guys, I don't know what else to tell you except that I, I, this week is a very significant week. It is a very significant week. And something else I want to bring up to you as well. 
um, there was another watchman um, and I've mentioned his um, his YouTube channel uh, several times and I've brought up this particular message that he shared several times that we are to be ready uh, by the 8th we are to be ready by the 8th by 8 o'clock uh, someone had put 8 o'clock someone said be ready by the 8th remember the arena dream that I had the doors were shut at 8 o'clock but they were actually shut a little early um, be ready by the 8th day so take a look at what this date is so um, what is it? Are we, are we, you know, are we getting ready to enter into something that's going to start our transformation? Is our infilling getting ready to happen? Something's, something's up. And take a look at this. Here's the 11th of Av and the 12th and the 13th of Av. Um, are these the dates that he was pointing to me or or is for 8 11 12 and 13 which is actually still a Monday also um, when he was talking when I said to him Lord are you telling me um, the dead in Christ are about to rise and that was the only date that he gave me um, is this is this what he's speaking of um, guys, I don't know. Um, I, I truly don't know. Um, but I know for a fact that that is the only date he has ever given me. Um, something I want to mention to you, too, I know that we have been talking about that. Monday, Monday, do you remember that? I, was, I asked the Lord when my last day of work would be, and the, he gave me a song that um, was dealing with Monday, Monday. Um, and what is really interesting is, is that I had um, people at my house um, this particular weekend, and my, um, my sister actually said on Sunday, just before she left, she, someone said, well, you going back to work tomorrow? And she said, yeah, Monday, Monday. Now, <laughs> Um, she was not aware of my videos uh, or that particular song. She has listened to a few of them, but she um, I don't think she has seen that particular one. Um, she's not mentioned it at all. And of course, uh, when she said it, I said, oh, well, there you go. Um, I have not been, been to work uh, at this time. I'm actually out until somewhere around the 5th of August, if I'm able to return at all. Um, so uh, that's quite interesting. Uh, that's that's quite interesting. Uh, so I wanted to bring that up. Um, one last thing that I wanted to bring up also. Um, uh, I wasn't going to share it, but the Lord is is bringing it back to my memory right now. Um, and it was just a dream that I had somewhere around five or six o'clock this morning. And it was um, it was a long dream. I only remember part of it. Um, but it was dealing with a preschool or a middle school of sorts um, that was dealing in water. Um, let me try and explain. It was like younger children that were in a school of sorts where um, in certain classrooms they were learning how to clean themselves. Um, and then as they were able to pass whatever courses they had in there, they were able to go out into two big, large rooms that had nothing um, but water in them uh, to, to douse themselves, to, to cleanse themselves, to immerse themselves. Um, very, very interesting dream. Those are only the parts that I wish to share of it. I think it has something to do, um, uh, well, I'm going to leave it alone what I think it is because I'm, I usually do not, <laughs> I am, I do not have the gift of interpretation, but I do know what the water stands for. Um, however, I need to point out that this was the children. These were the younger children that were there. There were some adults in there with them, guiding them, helping them understand certain things. 
um, and movement around in the water. There was water everywhere, in the classrooms, in the big arenas, all on the floor, deep things of water, and they were able to go in and swim and uh, do all kinds of things. It's it's a very interesting dream. Um, I just want to put that out to you. Um, the Lord is pointing us back to the children, uh, to the children at this time. So guys, uh, that is my information that I needed to share. Um, it is significant, uh, I believe. Um, I will try and see if I can get this particular calendar up on Google Docs and provide a link for you um, if you are interested in taking a look at this. Um, I will try and see if I can um, f at least identify some of the videos if you wanted to go back to some of the information um, that he is pointing us to. Oh, look at there. Tisha Biav and Tubiav. Look what I have there. Now, guys, please know that this particular calendar is something that I created for my own study. Okay. Um, I went into detail with certain things because as I was going through and learning, I was trying to put that information in here just as a point of reference for my own study. There may be some errors in here, and if they are, please correct your own document. You can send me a, a note if you'd like to so I can correct it on mine as well. But guys, you know, it, it's not set in stone. I, I'm human. I can make mistakes. Um, but I I, I, the Lord is bringing us back to this, and he's bringing us back to this for a specific reason. Um, so guys, please, please take a look at it. Um, and then just to remember, this was the message that was given to me um, yes, last night at 3.30 in the morning. So guys, um, I hope that this helps you in your studies. I hope that it maybe confirms something that you have been given. I've not been watching any videos or reading any messages, and I haven't even had time to check my email. I've not had time to go through and listen to things that people have sent me in videos yet. I have a whole list of things that people have um, have sent me, and I want to say thank you so much for thinking of me uh, in terms of that and including me in on your notifications. I think I have some time now that I'm going to be able to get through some of them. I'm also going to be seeking the Lord on a couple of other things that he's been showing me as well. So guys, God bless you. We are on the verge of big, big things. Repent, lay things down, turn, get yourselves positioned exactly where you need to be so that you can be firmly planted in his foundation on the rock ready for what is about to come. God bless you guys. I love you all, and I'll be seeing you so very, very soon. Bye.